which I think um, renders everybody a lot of boy and renders everybody dependent on God. And, um, that little portion of scripture, Psalm 23, the whole of the year, just reciting Psalm 23. But when you look at it from the spiritual point of view, economic point of view, we look at it from the security point of view, we look at it from the emotional point of view, and these are all aspects of our lives where something is attacking all of us, especially those of you who are in And I want to recommend to you Psalm 33, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures, leads me beside the still waters, he restores my soul. He leads me to the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yet know I go through the valley of the shadow of death, and will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy Lord, and thy staff will comfort me, and prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, to anoint my head with oil, my cup runs with me. Surely his goodness and his mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. This is my scripture for the whole year, and I've been quoting it again and again. When I was sitting in the car and coming there tonight, I was quoting it. The world that becomes so evil, so much evil, you have no idea. But when you speak this sound and release this power, it covers you from every angle. Now, for 10 years, a young man who is gradually relinquishing his status as a young man, because sometimes your age depends on the amount of work you've done on earth. Young people do very little. But when you are young and you've done so much, so much in your lifetime, you cease to be young. Sometimes I tell my sons, I tell them, I said, your dad has lived seven generations in wild life now. That's what I tell them. I tell them, your father has lived seven generations in one lifetime, and I'm giving them a parable to think about. Because from the part of Ghana where I live, and from the things I do on a weekly basis and on a daily basis, it has to take over speed to operate like that. So I told them, in my lifetime, it's so number of years. Just multiply seven generations to 210. That's what I'm telling you. But for Dr. Brian, the amount of work he has done over time, his lifetime, qualifies him to be called an old head on young shoulders. When he says Joseph was the son of his father's old age, he didn't mean literally that his father was old when he got him. What that thing means is that he was the son of old age to his father means that he was, a, he, he was a young, he was an old head of young children. That man Joseph was older than his age. That's what this young man was given to us. Thank God his mom is here tonight. And I almost thought that was his sister or something. But then um, she's giving birth to these amazing prophets of God. Not every woman produces prophets. Some wounds produce arm robbers, some people's wounds produce uh, confusions, some people's wounds produce, uh, you know, jokers and rascals. But we thank God for a blessed wound, a blessed wound that produces this amazing event. I want to thank yourself for your impact on the youth of Ghana, not just the youth, but even adults. We learn from we watch you, we look at the momentum, your energy, the drive, and we learn from you. And then, um, Dr. Sonibadu, thank you for being his friend. Um, every one of us, every now and then, we need a friend. And um, for your brothers who come to give in the ministry, Samson and Daniel and Mark, who is my buddy buddy, but Mark is young, but the name of Kazakhana is very. The guy is so gentle. Dr. Mark and Martin, and um, standing with you and you standing with them in the ministry. Four brothers who are not in competition, 
Reward him for all he has done in our lives and ministries and in our families. And be gracious unto him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we ask dear Father for the favor of his life. And I pray, dear Father, as we agree with his mother, the ministers, the rest of the family, show him. The Lord be his shepherd. He will not want. Let him lie down in green pastures. Lead him beside the still waters. Restore his soul. Lead him in the path of righteousness. For your name's sake. Ye though he walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he will fear no evil. For you are with him. Your rod and your staff, they comfort him. You will prepare a table before him in the presence of his enemies. Anointing his head with oil. His cup runs over. Surely, let goodness and mercy follow this one all the days of his life. Let him dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. This is one of the best shooter you can get in Ghana here. So please look for some and buy. Go to our Instagram page at Lip Lip Cottage or Facebook page Lip Lip Cottage or call this number 054 or 027-6824-190 Lip Lip Shito, the best among the rest Hello everybody, my name is Gianna Keep watching Hypes Media Hub of quality content